everyone! Welcome to Storytelling in English. My name is Yanni, and the book we'll be reading today is called I Can Do It Too by Karen Baker. So, during this reading today of our story, we'll be repeating a few phrases. So, whenever I ask you, Can you do it too? What you'll say back to me is you'll say, I can do it too. Okay, so let's practice that one time. Ready? Can you do it too? I can do it too. Good job. Okay, so let's get started on our book. At breakfast time, when we get up, Dad pours some juice into his cup. Can you do it too? I can do it too. My sister puts on all her clothes. She snaps and zips and ties all the bows. Can you do it too? I can do it too. Grandma visits me and bakes the most delicious chocolate cakes. Can you do it too? I can do it too. Grandpa always reads to me and holds the book so I can see. Can you do it too? I can do it too. Picking, plucking, strumming strings. My uncle plays the guitar and sings. Can you do it too? I can do it too. If I go bonk and start to cry, my mom can kiss my ouch goodbye. Can you do it too? I can do it too. My best friend likes to play that she's in a castle sipping tea. Can you do it too? I can do it too. My neighbor rides a bicycle, and though mine is called a tricycle, can you do it too? I can do it too. The baby learns to walk today, and when my family shouts hooray, can you do it too? I can do it too. Thank you for joining me today in reading the book, I Can Do It Too. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. So the theme behind our book today is talking about a child's independence and the importance of encouraging them to be independent from starting at a young age. Another common theme throughout this book is encouraging children to try things on their own. So some of the ways that you can do this is to encourage your children to, say, put away their dishes after eating, just like everyone else at home, or to encourage them to clean up after themselves after they've played with their toys. Another way that you can encourage children to try things on their own is to try to brush their teeth on their own at night or in the morning. So you can do this at any time of the day and it can be any task. So maybe you can try with them, say, I can do this. Can you do it too? I can put my dishes away. Can you do it too? Or you can say, I'm cleaning up my toys. Can you do it too? And maybe if the children are comfortable or if they're familiar, they'll say, I can do it too. When children feel like they're completing tasks on their own at a young age, it can begin the first steps of them being independent. So they can mirror or they can shadow the different tasks that they can do at a young age. And later on, they'll be able to do it on their own without any help. Another prominent idea in this book is the child's being surrounded by love when growing up. So the child is surrounded by love from the parents, from the relatives and other family members, and also their friends. Everyone in the book is showing the child different types of love and different forms of showing their love to the child. So a child will receive love through words, they might receive love through actions, but all types of love they'll be able to tell that the people around them love them a lot. This is very important for children when they're growing up to feel love from the people around them. It helps them to grow into a very healthy child. I hope you enjoyed reading this book with me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care and I'll see you again. Bye!